California Nurses Association and um, want to thank you all for um, all the work that you're doing. And there's a lot of um, people in this room who have been um, mentors to me, so it's really exciting to be up here. Um, Elizabeth Pataki, who um, organized a union in her hospital 20 years ago or something like that, who, when I was in my 20s, said to me, because I had all the nurses phone numbers memorized when we were doing GOTV to get the union at Mercy Sacramento, and she said to me, darling, why do you have that memorized? That's such a waste of your brain space. When you're older, you'll be really sorry that you know my, my phone number by heart. So um, I just want to say that it's an honor to be here, and um, I respect the work of your organization so much. You all have been holding the line and fighting for justice. Um, longer than a lot of our organizations, and um, we appreciate and know that you've um, led the way, and we want to escalate and be on a path to winning um, with you all to turn this horrible moment around. And it's, it's true that, um, you know, the day after the election was a terrible day, but it was also a day of major hope because, you know, for the first time in my life, my mom, who's 74 years old, she's a teacher's assistant in New Jersey. She worked with developmentally um, disabled children her whole life, got punched on the job, it was a hard job. She loved her job, but she was union and she has a pension. And she got um, on a bus at 4 a.m. in New Jersey to go down to the Women's March. For the first time in her life, she went to a protest, right? So I think there's a lot of opportunities here where people see the urgency of the moment and um, that's what we want to seize on together and collectively and it's exciting to be with this panel and with all of you because everybody in this room is doing extraordinary work and everybody in this room, um, every ounce of work that you are doing is absolutely needed and needs to be um, escalated and we're bringing more people into the fold and I know that we're not, um, we're not going to lose, we're gonna win and we're gonna change our country in a very strong, progressive way that wouldn't have happened if we hadn't had this awful thing happen. If we're only talking about how awful Trump is, which he is God awful, but if we're only talking about how awful he is and we're not talking about what we deserve, like if my daughter does not hear that she deserves to have college without debt, she's not gonna come and spend her time working for us right, and working for our movement. She's not going to have hope. One of the things that um, Bernie Sanders brought to people was hope, right, and it brought the youth. And so we need to um, be out there with a proactive message about free college, right? That needs, to, that resonates with our young people. Most of them are graduating with tens of thousands of dollars of debt, and that's not right because they're just trying to um, provide for their society and we need to be out there with um, those messages and we need to be supporting candidates who are unafraid to go out there and talk about those things not just um, say that they're against Trump um, we also need to be out there about with candidates who are talking about racial justice we have the most african-american men and women in prison in any industrialized country in this world that is not okay it is not okay and we need to be talking about how wrong that is and white, black, Asian, Native American, we are. This affects all of us, and we know that, and we um, think that it's a uniting issue, not something that we should shrink from. Um, so we think that offense is really important. One of the things that we've spent this last spring working really hard on offense around that you're going to hear more about is SB 562, which is, um, you know, single payer in California. Right? There are millions of people who are suffering in California right now because their premiums are too much, their co-payments are too much, they're terrified to stay in the hospital because they think they're going to get charged more because their health insurance company is basically gouging them. Kaiser Permanente made $1.1 billion in profits off of our premiums last year. They use that money to shut down SB 562 and single payer health care. And at the same time, they're going around calling themselves a nonprofit, right? So they get tax breaks from our state. That's not right. And we, as our revolution, you know, spent the spring and we're going to be spending the fall working on getting SB 562 passed in our state, right? We can do it first here in California. Canada did it state by state. We can do it first in California, and and we know that. And um, October 14th and 15th, we're going to be doing canvases in every single ADEM district in the state, right? So we're asking you um, to join us in those canvases. You should look out for um, 
e-blast, Facebook um, blast, and so that you can get the word out. But in almost every ADEM district in the state, we're going to be um, on the doors talking to voters, right? Because they don't even know that it's an opportunity for them to have um, single payer right now. I just want to um, also point out um, two races um, that we're proactively working on. One is already um, 49, where Daryl Isa is, and where um, Colonel. Colonel Applegate is um, running, right? He only lost by 2,000 votes last time around, and we know this time around that he will win, right? That is a military district. The moderate Dems have put in another candidate. That's unacceptable. If you if you put in continue to put in moderate candidates who don't speak to the people, we are not going to win. The only way we're going to win is if we have somebody who um, is speaking to the um, candidates, and Colonel Applegate is completely progressive. The same with um, CD10, Dottie Nygaard, who's a nurse, is running in that district, right? And she stands for Medicare for All, she stands for clean money, she stands for pension security and food security. And, um, you know, we as our revolution are going to have a way for people who are not in those districts to call into those districts and um, you should try and um, find us. I just want to also give people our webpage because you can find a chapter um, through our webpage. It's www.rourrevolution.com. So there's two R's, and it, she says, say it again. Okay, it's www.rourrevolution.com. You can tell I didn't do very well in spelling these. I had to look down for that part. Um, but please, you know, um, get involved. We um, support everybody on the stage, and we think that, um, you know, that we are going to transform this country. I have a lot of hope in this moment, you know, and I know that um, together we're going to make a huge difference. So thank you.